try to if you've got a Mavic and you shoot stuff on SD card then you might want to transfer it to your phone for editing, viewing, uploading onto YouTube, whatever. You can do this by removing the SD card slot or taking the back off and sliding it in but if you're like me and this is a Samsung Galaxy S7 you'd have to get a pin and push it in to remove the little tray and if you do that too many times the tray is going to become loose and you might end up damaging it and I don't want to carry around a pin because the reason I just had to re record this video is because I just dropped the pin on the floor it's highly highly inconvenient to carry that sort of stuff around with you um, anyway some of you might want to put your stuff in a slightly more convenient method using an OTG cable which is plugs into the bottom of the phone and using maybe in a small adapter like this where you can actually put your memory card in as so or you might have one which has a little a little SD card micro slot there next to the big slot but when you plug it in it will only see FAT32 whereas Android phones will see EXFAT and NTFS internally if you put it into the special internal slot when you plug it plug it in via this it won't see it because OTG only sees FAT32 which means it can't see big files and it can't see your hard drive so what's the solution is there a solution yes there is well actually I've got it on screen here let us see focus it up it's a program called Paragon Microsoft EX FAT okay and you'll find this on the Play Store I'll just exit the program so I'll show you in the Play Store so Play Store right when you're in the Play Store do the search in the Play Store and type in EXFAT X FAT and when you, when you do that you'll see the very first program that's actually discovered is called Microsoft EX FAT for NTFS for USB and it's by Paragon Technology GmbH okay I've tried a few and this is the best you'll also have to install Total Commander file manager so install that as well okay once you've done that then you can run the piece of software so let's open it so you open it up and it'll connect to the USB device let me just make this a bit brighter it'll connect to the USB device and it says would you like to mount to the device and you say yes I'd like to mount the device and it says OK and then you say open the files and it will fire up Total Commander and you then go onto the folder that you want and there are my files which are from the Mavic memory stick so that's a great solution it will solve all your problems of trying to get stuff onto a phone without having to remove the SIM card and your extra memory card. Now bear in mind if you've got a really big memory card in here like a 128 megabit, mega, uh, let's try that again, 128 gigabit, not even gigabit, gigabyte, let's try that again, a 128 gigabyte memory stick in here and you want to transfer the stuff from this onto that then of course by removing that memory stick you've no longer got it in there there's no point trying to copy it because you've got nothing to copy it onto but when you've got your memory stick permanently in here and you've got this method then you can copy the files onto the phone remove this after you've finished put it back in the Mavic go flying copy the stuff onto the phone and then you can share so hope this has uh, helped you with your problem as I had this problem and now I've got a fix oh by the way it will cost you uh, five pounds 99 in order to buy the app but um, you can also buy the full package which includes NTFS and um, HFS so we can handle Mac as well so this is the the best method I found so hopefully that'll help you out so if you've been watching thanks very much